Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old Red Blues. I'm your host, Senor the Mocha Lover, in which we are playing as Ejocito Mexicano under Santa Ana. We just finished the Menace of Mexico and I asked you guys yesterday which one of these economic advisors we should choose and you guys selected Industry Protocol. We've got other comms to go through, but let's go and do our next focus and talk about some other stuff. Let's go ahead and do Wrathful Thoughts and Reckless Anger. This is the fault of the Gringos who built Tlaloc. They've done nothing but harm my country and family since the 19th century. They take land with their armies and our resources with their t treaties and our hopes with their culture. And now they take my father. Now, of course, one of the comments from yesterday was saying that this doesn't make too much sense with Tlaloc already gone and that we basically... As Santa Ana's morning doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, I completely agree. But, you know, it is a, still a focus dream. And we'll get to... It, to it as fast as possible. Um, keys to Armageddon. Rio had fallen. Rosado had been executed outside her dark laboratory, tr found trying to experiment on the program that created Lavoc. Gira and his forces have surrendered, or now resorting to guerrilla tactics, desperately trying to lend, fend off the Steel Legions. And Mora has been taken prisoner. Now at last, Santa Ana's conquest is done. Now at last, Armageddon Station, as well as its secrets, were safe. Look at that. Bueno, muy bueno. Oh, plus one nuke. Nice, Rathal thought so. They are doing this to him, his sons. I will destroy them all. My armies will burn Moctezuma's empire to the ground and slaughter the soldiers he's so proud of. Destroy Maximilian's dream before his very eyes and spread on the remains. Every, get every single one of Zapata's beloved citizens like pigs and make sure they scream to the heavens at the top of their lungs, crying out for their savior. When it is done, I will raise every single evidence of their pathetic existence. They shall all burn, burn in heck for what they've done to my father. Gather my forces, let none stand before my might. Cool. Now, I want to keep going down this way, do some mandatory service, railway construction, but I still want to do some of this as well. Arms workshops, more material to work with. I like that. Reopening the Ciudad Victoria Armory. Ciudad Victoria was one of home to several units of the American Army before the war. Tlaloc has kept those depots under lock and key, but it's time for Santa Ana to put them to good use. Very good. Now we get 52 caps every quarter, which is very nice. Or a bottle to clear war on Eagle Rock. We can only have 491, so... I don't mind actually investing some stimulus, that's not a bad idea. So actually, we need to take a look at this stuff, this stuff, or the focuses down here, before we talk about a few more comments. So them threat, the older brother, huh. We need acceptance, of course. Uh, caps, we saw this yesterday, I just wanted to see if we could go to, go to war with anyone else down here really quickly. Scavengers found something in the ruins of an ancient factory, our scavengers found pre-war goods. Time will tell whether it was worth the blood and sweat we paid for it. Better in our hands than our enemies. We'll do hardline approach, pressure the, ah, uh, with the Rio. Ah, for the Republic of the Rio Grande's former core territory, seizing Armageddon. Well, I guess technically we should do that. Yeah, it has to be 2278, which is just less than a year, so. I'm not really too worried about a God-fearing robot. Ooh, daily compliance, Catholic teaching, sign me up. The Peasant Rebellion. Oh yeah. 2078, 2079, wow. We got quite a while before we get there. But that's alright. Hardline approach, stability war support, eh, I'll do that one. Just like the hubris of the old world caused its end, so does the new world's democracy set their side upon the same path. The Republic of the Rio Grande cannot be allowed to gain the keys to Armageddon Station, lest they destroy everything I and Father have worked towards. Their conquest for power ends today. Now, we have the flesh is weak, which it very much is so. I'm going to go ahead and create an agency for us, which I kind of like these. Now, sneaky dudes like this is okay. I have a feeling you guys could probably come up with something much better. And actually, I could probably copy and paste if it's actually in Spanish, too. Maybe. We'll see what happens. But if you think sneaky dudes is a good idea... To keep it the name, let me know because I'm not opposed to it. I normally change it, but I don't. We don't have to change what we call our intelligence agency. But sometimes we should. Maybe sometimes we shouldn't. Right now, where are we lacking? Scrap, which is why I wanted to do the other stuff above here first. We'll do this one next, and then the other stuff. Thruster engines. We love to thrust. Protectrons. Reliability. Fuel refinement. Nice. And what are we lacking besides combat robots? Anything? No, but it doesn't look like we're making that much. So we need a lot more combat ro robotos. There we go. Very good. Get some more triplanes as well. Uh, I don't think there's really much we can really take off of any one group. I mean, maybe we take off one of guns, but I guess that's okay. 82 is not bad. Send in some manual prospectors. We get the money for it. Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not still mobilizing. So that's good to know. Anything here? No. Okay, hardline approach. And then reopening La Pesca Armory. Why are there so many untouched pre-war American armories throughout Mexico? Who cares? Take it. And what do we finish here, actually? So we finished pressure the border. And seizing Armageddon. We have to wait until it is time for us to do so. So, very good. Bars of the Apocalypse. If you'd like to read about these guys, go right ahead. 
I'm not a big fan of them. I'm not really sure they'll be very useful for this campaign. But I don't want to lower my war support, so let them come along and do good. Actually, they will lower our war support, in which we get more stability. My bad. My pronunciation is barely, really not good tonight. Or, whenever I'm recording this. T which is tonight. Cool. Mm -hmm. Man, what should we do over here? Extraction? We could use a little bit more extraction. Efficiency? I'm kind of liking that civilian infrastructure. You know what? We'll probably go with Mata and Baragan right now. But later on, we'll probably switch them out with something else. Organization and recovery rate's not bad. Organic? Yeah, I organization. Because this applies both the uh, robots as well as infantry. So, you get more recovery rate. We get more organization. The secret sauce. If you'd like to read about some secret sauce, go ahead. Just because this happens almost every campaign. So, Swiss sauce. More money, please. And Ragstack camp shop. The same thing happens here. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Our people are doing well. We'll take 40 cases. Well, I think we can afford that. We have 171. Maybe we should stop spending so much money. But we'll see what happens. And see our the Vel Banditos. And next up will be... Reopening the Reynosa Armory. Ah, yes, the Reynosa Armory. The largest and most well-equipped in all of my territory. Wouldn't it be so simple to just find a stock of fat man inside? Well, I guess the miniguns will be enough. More arms workshops and more scrap and electricity. Very good. Who's going to win the Battle of Hoover Dam? Not me. Not yet. So there was another comment in... The, Oh, look, we're, we're major power now, we're Lord of the Wastes. Uh, that we should take all the former territory that Mexico used to own back when it got its independence from Spain. It's not a bad idea. That's going to be a lot of territory, actually. So, right south of Oregon. Does that include Utah? That might include Utah, too. So, basically all of this. That's going to be a lot of conquesting, so. We'll see how long this video is. I have no idea. You guys know. I have no idea. And there'll probably maybe be four episodes in this campaign. The old world wall holds, which is very hard to break. It's very quite hard to break. Oh, okay, five days left for public projects. We'll probably go immediately with metal working. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Definitely not as fast as Bellfire Blues, but that's all right. There's a lot more um, countries in this mod than Bellfire Blues. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. And since you're here, you might as well train too. After this, we're going to go ahead and grab... And that's a little bit ahead of town. Let's grab some seed selection. Very, very good. We've got 10 days left there. we got less than 10 days here. So, I guess we'll go and do Los Siete Leyes. For too long, I've ignored my father's teaching and their lessons. And so it is time to pay my due to the people. To fulfill his legacy and leave my mark upon this noble land, we will allow them to form a bicameral congress and elect deputies as well as senators to run local affairs. This will let the citizenry enjoy many liberties. And so allow me to guide them along the right path. We get more political power and more war support. Not bad. Not bad at all. Fuel refinement is very good. We could probably use some resource extraction, but I'm kind of waiting. I want to do some of this military hardware stuff first. The uh, resource extraction would be quite good for us to accomplish. 59. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Robots. Ooh. Actually. Ooh. What do, what do I use normally for 20 combat with robots? I did throw in some, um, some anti-tank here. Now, is that going to be good enough? They are 20 combat with... If I were to remove this and remove that and then throw on another heavy robot, that's still 19. So let's go ahead and do that and then... Uh, there we go. It's not great. Slightly more armor. we got to make these guys 40 combo with. But you know what? 20 combo with is worth it. We can't make any more divisions. Wow, maybe we should stop, really stop training. Wow. Go and stop training. We just got to get more robots for now. And make them a little stronger So by doing this. 10 days left. And then... Cool. Let's go ahead and do this one. The Reynosa Dockyard Rest Renovations. Very good. Although Reynosa hosted some small fishermen and merchants, it is no longer the great port from before the war. Time to fix this. Two more naval dockyards. We actually might consider making some boats. Maybe? Maybe. Well, let's keep getting a little bit more naval XP first. We get 0.3 from naval exercises every day. And 0.1 from Santa Anna himself. Oh, I didn't realize it. The Man of Destiny. I didn't realize that, huh? Hmm... Well, do we have any upgrades for these guys? I'm not going to make these if they have no other upgrades. Nope, this looks like trash. So, we got to do some upgrades then. Refined construction. Well, I'm not going to... I'm going to beeline down this path first. Combat simulations, more defense is good. More max planning and planning speed is usually quite bueno. And... Ooh, cultural advisors, we don't have any of these guys unlocked yet. Industrial concern. Oh, both are really good. I'm going to go with Pietro Chico first, though. Petro Chico Reyes. Very nice. 
Honestly, I was kind of expecting us to make a, 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 the gap between producing ro the combat robots and the support robots to be much larger, but it's not really that much larger. Quite different than what I expected. We still don't have a big industry, which kind of sucks. Actually, we need core ter We actually have to core a lot of territory, actually. Maybe I should stop spending so much political power. Might not be back. Do I get cores on, on all this territory later on? I have no idea. Let's see. Yes, I do. Torreon, nuclear cartilage, the glowing ash. We need Leon. Wait, where do we get Leon? Is this Torreon? Oh, hmm. Maybe we could just go to war. Oh, oh. How strong are these guys? I might just. Oh, well, te technically. We can't do that because we take all these guys out. So we gotta wait a little longer. So, civilian workshops. El Banco de Alvio. Alvio. Economical micromanaging is a painful, arduous task that sometimes leaves the common man penniless and oppressed. No longer I will reform our banking system to prioritize local services and funding towards growth. No Mexican shall be left behind. All will enjoy the freedom of opportunity they deserve. That being said, we gotta get to some other comments. Someone says I should try the Enclave Reborn mod again. Someone says it's very difficult. Um, yeah, I will. You know what? I will play it sometime. I'm not sure when, but I'm going to keep a really st strong eye on it. And the Legion's doing the Legion. Go figure. But I will keep an eye on it and probably try it on my own time to see what it's like again, because it's, it's been a very long time since I've actually played as the Enclave, um, in the Enclave Reborn mod. So I already have an idea who's, who I'm going to play after this campaign, but I'll look into it. I'll put it like that. I'll look into it. We'll see. Plant cultivation is good. Next up. Yes, I also went over. I already went over. Santa Ana's mourning doesn't make a lot of sense with Trilocon dead. Yeah, I know. But you know what? I wanted to go a historical just because. And I wanted to get rid of his sons or pop out his sons earlier. Just so Mexico's a little bit more interesting. Like, that's really why I did it. So, uh, let's see. Who's this one? Los Fueros. Many throughout our land still see me as a common man, no better than the many leaders that came before me. Men grow tired of the lack of change, of vast reforms of the common laws set to protect the people against larger interests and unlawful actions should let me gain their support, more support, and a hundred more political power. Very good. Now, okay, so we gotta look at this real quick. Let's see. Let me go ahead and pause this. Let's look at core. Quite a few things about coring stuff. Um, Alamo chapter stuff. This one's... Crush Rebels. Alright. All core lands are under us. The em Empresarios. McAllen, Armstrong, Rio Grande City. Okay. And Human Sacrifice, of course. You go to core all Tlaloc's children will now serve the president as advisors. The Peasant Rebellion. Ooh, interesting. Non-core manpower. Master of Mexico does not look bad. But we can't go down that way since we don't have that one, but whatever. Order from Chaos. Uh, steps of Unity. We could have gone that, but whatever. So it seems like a lot of the stuff we just cannot core manually. Oh, we have to core manually. McAllen, Armstrong, Rio Grande City. Crystal City. Laredo, Nuevo, Luardo. Oh, was it this place? Rio Grande City, McAllen, yes. Yeah. So we, we can core that stuff. But this stuff over here, it seems like we can't. Hmm. Okay, then. Sales. Maybe we'll keep one research slot on all that stuff for now. I mean, not like it really matters too much. I mean, yeah, it's good for manpower, but I'm actually looking at just coring stuff for more industry, really. Metalworking is good. Very, very good. Let's grab some steam powered extraction, because we could use more scrap, really. We'll just keep training our guys for now. Do we have any upgrades here? No, no, okay, whatever. More than halfway done. Cool, let's read the next focus. Tempico Airport Renovations. The airport will make a fine logistics hubs for our liberation of Tejas. Very good. So we're pretty much almost done with all the stuff in the north here, except for these focuses. Man and Machine, I would like the next research slot. That actually would be, would be very, very good for us to do. And where are we? Oh yeah, so we have about one day left, that's fine. I got 100 more political power. Maybe we'll core something. Maybe. Even though it does cost quite a bit to core. Oh, 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 this, oh, it's energy. That's right, it's energy. Oh, crap, we need more energy. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. But please stop lowering my war support. Thank you, come again. So actually, we're gonna need some, oh, we need more compliance, first of all. Did I change this already? Yeah, I did change this, all right. We're only on outsider volunteers. Now, would Santa Ana allow outsider battalions 
or no outsiders. I don't know Santa Ana that well. He might. He might not. Robot manufacturer. Uh, less defense. I don't like that, but I do like more soft attack and more research speed, so. Good. Reynosa, even though it's on the coast, that's fine. Do that, do that. Uh, do that. I'm building up a lot of civilian factories, as you can tell. I'm so used to building up so many, uh, so many civilian factories from TNO. I'm just like, all right, by default, I'm gonna go ahead and just build more civilian, civilian factories. I'll make sure we get a greater GDP or lower the debt or whatever we need to do. And of course, every place he needs to get enough infrastructure. That's good, Just very cool, very cool. And who are we gonna grab next? Navy designer. Well, the only one we could choose, and then maybe we'll choose it. Chief Air Force. All right, very good. Tempico Airport Renovations. Railway construction? Don't mind if we do. The people of Mexico will be tied together through the rails like a safe cage around their homes. Wait. Wait, what? Hmm. Very nice. We could. Family stipends, huh? Things cost more. It's not really worth it, though. Combat simulations, no. Waste and autonomy. More output. Organization and output. Recovery time, hardness, and armor. And a little bit of supply use. Or direct control. More soft attack. Less defense and a little bit more soft attack. But more breakthrough. I kind of like West Side Autonomy. We're going quality. So I'm thinking as much as I love more organization. That stuff looks great and all. I want to cause much, you know, I like war games and soft attack is what I want to maximize right now. Cool. Crop rotation. Why not? Send in some mini prospectors. Help out some towns. We get some more civilian factories. Very, very good. Not bad. Not bad. Keep expanding this. 15 and 1. Could be better, could be much better, but wait, whatever. Alright, so after this, we could be training more stuff, assault canoes. I think it's probably better to do some naval modules first. Let's get some detection and communication training, just so we can start chipping away at some of our naval XP. We already have a lot, and I think it's just best to do it now. Oh, we got a lot of manpower, not gonna lie. 53, how many caps do we have? We currently have 288. Hmm. Not really worth it. I mean, that's just so much manpower, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. We also might consider researching generators. Actually, the core of this, we actually get some more energy, but we got to keep an eye on that. We don't want that to go too low, of, of course. Railway construction is always good. Though, how about mandatory service? Santa Ana Toy was saying that the service guaranteed citizenship, but remember that the Constitution ensured everyone a citizenship, which means citizenship guarantees service. Love how that's uh, made. Now, what is this? Building out the station. Oh, just for a political... Yeah, why not? And that'll help us get some more resources by building up infrastructure. I like this. I really like this. That's very good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, looks like we're all done training here, right? We could still use a few more things, though. Mm. Martin, nothing there. Very good, very good. Whatever. 13 days. So after this... Ooh, only 1.08 every day. Steam powered extraction. Actually, we're doing pretty well on what we need. Oh, we haven't done vacuum tubes yet. My bad. What is wrong with me? And here we will hopefully go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Another single infantry division. We might actually want to expand that division to Rob Cove uh, factory reactivation. Some of the Rob Cove factories before, from before the war were still operational, but nonetheless, they were mothballed by Tlaloc due to insufficient consumer demand. Time to demand their reactivation. We'll take 40 caps and mandatory service revival. Santa Ana has a singular goal of making sure that a small section of Mexico is capable of sustaining its armies and military aspirations in the long run. For this purpose alone, a great deal of funding and political pressure has been poured into an initiative to kickstart the anemic economy. Ooh, mandatory military employment. Factory output and more military construction speed. Divided mandatory employment. Uh, that's not bad. Mandatory civilian employment. I kind of want both. It's 5%, 5%, and 7% more factory output. I kind of like both, yeah, because we're going to be building both eventually anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I really don't care. We're going to build, build, build. Build for Mexico. Oh, we need way more robots, man. Oh, my goodness. Trade with the city-states of the Great Empire. Oh, we got that from last time, too. So, now we're to stop with that. So be it. More roads. Build Tampico Station. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, Reynosa. Will look great. And Tampico is in it down here. Oh, ah, there's right here. It's not bad. Very good. Next research will be crop rotations. 
in which I'm probably just going to we're going to get into that one so let's do some backyard workshops we need more output anyways that's crucial for our efforts I love how much manpower we have Mexico is just so rich with men oh desperate bargaining can we not do something to save you father or what if we give you Maximilian's databanks or even mine and we get this the sacrifice event big sadness big big sadness we'll all wait but that's okay or to borrow to clear war on the cult of Diana after this, I think I'm... Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And, yeah, we'll definitely see what happens. But I will be right back. Alright, everyone. Sorry about that, but sacrifice. Father, please, I beg you, let me help you. Surely this isn't your fate. Surely there's something I can do. Your sons have taken so much from you. You need to take what is rightfully yours back. They're killing you, Father. At least make take my own mainframe. Mine, those are the one son that used you more than any other. But you are too kind and caring to do such thing, aren't you? Then let me do something, anything. There must be an answer. Pre-war computers, yes. They would be able to bring you back. They must be able to, after all. This, this can't have, be how it ends. Tear the waste in apart. Gosh darn the cost, I won't let it end like this. Well, unfortunately he's gone already. But, you know, the death of the father. Oh boy. And we'll do Robco Factory Armament. The factory is just not turning out Mr. Handy's. Or just not for turning out like Mr. Handy's. Like most of America's Mexican infrastructure, they can be turned to war. Nice. So, oh, long range optics, don't mind if we do. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, wrought iron manufacturing. I almost never do any research for naval stuff anymore, so it's kind of weird seeing this stuff again. It's not like it's really changed at all. I don't think it has at all, but it seems kind of weird. Ah, uh, 300. Eh, whatever. We can do that. Intense expansion. I'm not going to use them, but we could try. Actually, what do we have over here? Monterey. Recall trade route? No, 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 no. We don't do that. <laughs> nope. Not bad. Texan Brotherhood clear one of the Gator Maws. So, like I was trying to say earlier, I think it's time for us to expand northwards a little bit more. But we do have to wait for this one, and so then we can do Seizing Armageddon. Two keys? Rio already has two keys, and from what little I know, they might have very well taken the third. Do they believe themselves invincible that they fly so close to the sun, ignorant of the fact their wings are burning? I cannot allow them to gain the last key. I must take back control, whatever the cost. Father, forgive me for bringing war to these lands once again. Let's see what happens. Human commanders? We got a little bit less ro lo robot defense, but more soft attack, hard attack. I think that's worth it. Seizing Armageddon is going to be great, because we finally get to go to war again. I love it. Flying shotgun to Armageddon. Nice. Scientific air technology. That'd be good. That'd be very, very good, actually. Hey, we can do the southern third as well. Nice. All right, so you guys, go and stop training. Well, actually, you guys are almost done training anyways, whatever. Oh, Zapata's gone to war. Good luck, brother. Good luck. Can we duplicate it one more time? Yes. Oh, yeah, we can. Nice. Just in case, can we do it, do, do it again? Oh, yeah, we can. You guys are almost done. I'm just going to do that, just in case. Hopefully, they don't navally invade us, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, very, very soon. Extend traction to Ciudad Valles. Yes, please. And can we core this place yet? Yes, we can. Welcome to Chico Nut. Is it worth that much electricity? Honestly, probably not, but whatever. We do get some electricity back, so that's not too bad. And how much do we need for this? 20? That's only 20. That's not bad. Well, we've got to be careful about how much we, we actually core. So I'm not going to core too much around where Imperial Mexicano's territories were. Rancho Prospero might be okay, but... I mean, the energy requirements of core stuff just skyrockets after a while. It's all like was it, doubles every time, so... It's pretty darn ridiculous, I'll say that. After that, let's go and do mechanical computing. The odds of, of any making, human making the shot are 99 to 1, but Santa Ana's robots can calculate the bullet's trajectory with the greatest of ease. Alright, boys and girls, it's time to head into... Gloria. Oh, wait, we don't have the world justification. Well, we'll do that soon enough. Then we get the war goal for the territory. Can I actually do this now? Huh, tax, Max Tackett. He's a cruel tyrant, no? Okay, cool. That's fine. Suffer a little bit of attrition. So be it. Whatever. Extend traction to San Carlos. Yes. Vacuum tubes. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to grab simple circuitry first for more research speed. More and more research, please. More and more, 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 more. 20 more days left, in which we're going to go backyard workshops. Well, probably we'll do primitive radio because 2% reinforce rate is not much, but the chance per hour that units in reserve are able to actively join the fight, it's better that's higher than lower. So, very good. 
let's see. Yeah, uh, there was another comment saying that with when we create our rioters here. Actually, we need to do some of this stuff too. Um, we'll probably go basic laser weaponry. Let's go basic weaponry first. Uh, we should max it out, max out the riders, make in terms of the division actual division template, and then put make it you know, get some dogs for maximum suppression because of the multiplier of how things work. So yes, we will do that, but we will get there soon. Cool. Superior subroutines. Oh, that's another research slot. Oh, we get two more research slots? Whoa, I didn't realize that. Rosado may think she's brilliant, but Santa Ana has spent 200 years refining his, er, <clears throat> men. The army of Mexico will be unstoppable. Wow, we get a total of six research slots? That is not bad. That is really not bad at all. I like that a lot. So out of robots. Anti-tank is looking really good, though. Probably don't need nearly as much anti-tank, so let's do that, maybe. Oh, then again, I mean, we're pretty equal in... Well, I guess we're not equal. These guys have 15 factories, while these guys only have 5, so... I can kind of see why it's unbalanced. See you, Dad, Victoria? Pretty good. Sending some more Man of Prospectors. The last time we did this, we didn't get too much here, so... Mm, oh, we can demand it. Yeah, why not? Ultimatum deadline, so we have within 10 days. Oh! Reach slaves from the Texan Arms Association. After the successful annexation of the Texan Arms Association, we found a population of slaves who were grateful for their freedom. As we do not endorse the practice of slavery, we offered them freedom. A good amount of the healthy ones were willing to join our military forces for freeing them. The tool that thinks and fights, they... Did they just give up on... They just gave up on life! I was expecting that maybe you give up, like, all the Mexican territory, but... Okay, then. This is ahistorical, but, you know, I'll take it. We're gonna, buy, we're gonna get a lot of money, ain't we? Um, wow. I'm not really. I'm still not really sure what to say, but okay. I guess after them, I guess pursuance next, because we can. Just because I want to go to war. They denied me an opportunity to go to war. How dare they? How absolutely dare they? Superior subroutines. The southern threat. Oh, oh, we need to go to every cap for the army, anyways. Oh, that's not bad to go. Liberation of Texas. It's not bad. Big Iron. Ironmongers. Yeah, we need to go to war with them. So, let's not do that one. I don't want to piss them off just yet too much. Ooh. Yeah, let's go and grab this one. This will help out. The nation does not send, need a set of independent or even autonomous regions. I will reorganize it into departments under my control, starting with the Republic of the Rio Grande. They will learn of my achievements and of my promises. I will protect Mexico and care for its people. Whether they accept this fact or are dragged screaming into a better tomorrow is their choice. Oh, hello. Electronics is good. Naval vessels are very good as well. Awesome. Refined tools, thank you very much. Let's go and start justifying on these people. It's just time for us to do so. Never mind. We that's a long booty time. But man, we got not one more, but two more trade nodes. We're gonna be rolling in a lot of money. Actually, what is that? Stalking man? Thrill of the hunt. Okay, come on, please. One more. We need just one more. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Research will be done in eight days. Good, good, good. Human commanders, and then age of the machine. Economic decisions, great news. Get more breakthrough, soft attack, and hard attack for robitos. Robatos, very, very good. Very nice. 160 days, huh? Nice, very good. Followed by... Flying shotgun to Armageddon. At last, the four horsemen of the apocalypse have come to Armageddon Station. Its heavy door was finally opened after decades. Within lurks both wealth beyond measure and madness beyond comprehension. It will now be harnessed, brought under control, and secret studied and applied, applied uh, pro properly. The sky will be under our control once again. The Mexican eagle shall, shall soar. Yeah, so, like, as you can tell from the thumbnail, the flag in the background is actually the flag of the first Mexican Empire. It's not Santa Ana's, like, personal flag or anything like that. I just wanted to use that flag because I don't think... I don't think that flag gets used too often, and besides, I'm, go I'm probably going to be playing Mexico more often, so I don't want to use the same Mexican flag every single time, besides, I kinda, like I said, I kind of like the flag. It's kind of cool. So, it is what it is. I don't normally play Mexico, I mean, I play more in Mexico and Old World Blues than actually Mexico in, like, regular Hoi 4. Then again, when do I actually regular play regular Hoi 4? You got a focus stream vanilla if you have the DLC, but other than that... Probably Kaiserreich, yeah. Road to 56, I'm sure. 
Maybe some other states too, but I, maybe not. I, I can't remember. Probably, probably. Next research. Oh, what do we have over here? Simple circuitry. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. Extraction. Eh, uh, why not? Very, very good. Flying shotgun. The southern threat. A lesser man would have dealt with the Mayans years ago, but the rights in barbaric way in a front to civilization itself. But Tlaloc was kind, and he didn't, so he didn't act at all. Tlaloc was generous, and so he gave them gifts, hoping to steer them towards a better path. Yet they became set in their ways, complacent, ignored, ignorant of his kindness. It is time for the wrath of a lesser man to deal with these savages once and for all. Now, Max in Chapter seems like a very interesting nation to play as. Led by Andrea Brixley, huh? Whenever he plays a Brotherhood, I probably will eventually. Hmm, charging fusion cores, stealth boy soldiers, gathering rations. Huh. Not too much here. Interesting, just to keep that in mind. Just to keep it in mind. Basic weaponry, very good. Uh, let's go ahead to town, let's grab some more defense for infantry. That'd be good. Five guns. Old World Blues, we found nothing. That's garbage. There you go. Refine tools, let's keep making more guns just in case. You never know if we need more guns. Air power. Let's keep expanding our air power as well. And go back to some naval stuff, because I don't see us working on any naval stuff, which is not good. Uh, extend traction to La Pesca. Connect the northern and southern lines. Ooh! All these places get even more infrastructure, and unified infrastructure plus 10% infrastructure construction speed. I love infrastructure so much, I built so much. So I can connect even more infrastructure. Wow, that's a lot of money. Over 200 caps? Oh, yeah, go and invest stimulus. Just do that one, too. I don't care. Desperados? Look how violent the American remnants are. So violent. The southern threat or thrust? Oh, GAI plant reactivation. General Atomics us also had factories in pre-war Mexico. We can salvage some of them as well. I love building up a massive industrial base. Now, obviously, this is supposed to be played when Tlalocan or Tlaloc is still alive, so that's why there's not a lot of warfare yet and we have to manually justify, but it is what it is, you know. So once that is done, we can save up 30 political power for that. I'm looking for this. No, I'm looking for this one. Just because it helps us with justifying on other people more quickly. Because we want a lot of war. I want a lot of war, I'll be honest. I want a lot of war. But we ain't getting that right now, which sucks. I just want to get to the Alamo, man. 20 combat width. I'm probably going to go and duplicate and I'm pretty sure it's for able, we're able to get to 40 combat width divisions here, so. Riders will be nice. I just don't think we have enough equipment to actually use them yet. We have 1,300 pieces, which is nice. I just don't think it's enough yet. So after that, GAI plant rearmament. Some might wonder why General Atomics included flamethrowers in its Mr. Handy's design. Not the General. No, 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 no. Of course not. Five days dedicated uh, dedicated equipment. Irrigation is next. Ah, irrigation. Painted rock, eh? <laughs> cool. Train if you need to. You guys looking pretty good. Actually, at this point, for you guys, you're just kind of standing in place. Go and do that. And for you guys, do that. There you go. Nope. 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 It won't let me put them over there. Gosh darn it. Oh well. I'm not going to do anything with those guys yet because we need more factors before I do anything with them. Oh, connect the northern and southern lines. Don't mind if we do. Very good. We spent all that political power now. Darn it. Who's next? Uh, well, we can do this one. We got about eight days left. And which this one will be very good. Man and machine, that's 105 days, but that's okay. With the secret of Armageddon Station now in safe hands, I can reactivate its strategical computers as well as technical or tactical data banks for my own purposes, which should allow me access to pre-war technology. My robots will have no equal, and so we will march on Tejas. Very, very good. So, factory-wise, we're looking not too bad. We almost have two full lines of 15, which I do enjoy. We actually have quite a bit more planes, which I do like quite a bit as well. Well, I've got enough planes, enough robots for a while. Which means this one and that one, please. You're putting stuff down, which is nice. Well, how about we go ahead and put some more planes somewhere else first. So, give me a hundred, and then give us another hundred. And train your booties off. There you go. And when you're done, do it again. And keep training your booties off. 
giving us just slightly more air XP. It shouldn't be too much longer until we can't we, until we go to War of the Pursuant. Less than a month, which is good. Follow it up with... Eh, you might as well do that. Complicated circuitry. Good. Agent of the Machine. We're done with the Land Doctrine, which is nice. Special Dies Doctrine. Well, let's get some safe mission stowage. No. Let's go and grab some of this. Optic filter is very good. And support equipment. We haven't done not we have not done very much with them. Let's grab some focus fire since we already use anti-tank. We might as well try to max it out as fast as or as much as possible, right? I think so. Oh now we need more of this stuff, huh? Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense actually. Broken Coast. So the next research will be done is in two weeks with irrigation. So how strong are these guys? I'm sure by now they've anti tanked they've got some of that. 10 to 20 divisions. Can we see what they got? And this is where decryption comes in, because you can actually... By doing decryption, you can actually see what your enemies have, potentially. So that's why I still like doing decryption, because it's actually very useful. Oh. There we go. Irrigation's done. Great. Um, well, I can go ahead and do work camps. Why not? Work camps are nice. Yeah, can we win? It, wow, third time in a single episode. Wow. Alright, whatever. After them, Ironmongers, we always get Gorgles on them. Do we get anything for Pecos Colony? Nope. So I know who's next, and it's not the Legion. What's the air damage like? Nothing. Okay, well, whatever. How much damage have we taken? None so far, which is looking pretty good. Forty-four divisions, not bad. Well, how much more do we got here? We're just kind of slithering on in, having a good old time. I just want to see if we end up with zero casualties. Come on, come on! Oh, we all good before we do this. Do we win with zero casualties? Hmm? Yes? This is one of my better wars. Nice. Very, very nice, my friends. We might go to war with the Ironmongers. Can we go to war with these guys? The Alamo chapter, all roll blues again? Oh, that sucks. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. Not really good, but whatever. Until Ledger, huh? Well, we might actually be able to take them on. We'll see what happens. We don't want to piss off too many people at once, right? That's never a good idea. Pissing off too many people at once is usually not a good idea for anybody. Aerial routine, more daily air XP. Well, I guess we can. I did want to do this one, but whatever. Whatever. Two days left for optic filters. There goes the reservation. How about some signal flags? So you have 13 days left. 12, 10, 11. And this will be another research slot. That's actually really nice. That's actually really, really, really nice. I doubt we have any upgrades. I mean, we did really well in that war. I'm very proud of my soldiers. Our soldiers, really. 20,000 manpower, is that all? Very good. Cool. And actually, after focus fire, we're going to probably go and grab some doggerinos. Little pretty doggies. Soft boys. Cool. And a sixth research slot. What more could you ask for? Probably a seventh. I forget which campaign I had, but apparently I had one where we... I forget. Have I ever had eight research slots? Someone might know in the comments below, but I might have. Infantry armor, looking pretty good now. Alright, Anna's Depression. What is the point of all this? What's the point of going on without the AI that guarded Mexico for so long? Without the men who guarded me for so long? Without the father that always guided me? And now he is, or has, despair. Not good. Not good. Right, we've got enough infantry armor. We've got plenty of guns, which is great. Uh, combat robots looking not too, not too shabby at all. Despair, I did this. It is all my fault. I stole what was rightfully his. Used father for my own desires. What have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a simple thief? Worse, a murderer? I don't think I can continue. To continue to have done things I have done in the name of my petty goals, it was madness. Utter madness. Please, Father, forgive me. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We are getting some severe penalties here. Acceptance until next year. Oh, boy. Well, then. The fate of Petro Chico. Liberation in Texas. Um... 
Okay, I'll do a, a Petrochico protection. Simple people, people that take up most, that take upon themselves the name of the father's parent company are, for the most part, peaceful. But with the rise of the Malians, a choice must be made. If I am to protect them effectively from Itza, I must take over their territory and stand against a southern threat. Moctezuma, one of my brothers, could be of use in my struggle. Yes, it could be. It is sure I will have to pay dearly for his assistance. We'll see. That's all I can say. Just we'll see. You never know. Actually, no, I don't want you to do it like this. What the heck? I want you. There you go. Let time go on, I guess. It's fine. It's already 2279. Holy cow. Y'all come over here. Y'all do this. Very, very nice. Alright, so do we still have a hole here? No, we don't, which is good. In any case, I'm going to put you guys next to... Oh, I don't know. The Alamo chapter. Why not? You know, why not? We make so much money, I don't even pay attention to what's going on anymore. Um, you guys can train as well. That's fine. Yeah. We have how much money? 1,400 caps, and we currently get over 200 every quarter? Yeah. I don't really care then. Good. Complicated circuitry. How about we get some uh, frequency analysis? That's some good stuff right there. Petrochico protections. How about we get some coastal militia integration? There are many coastal militias throughout our land that have seen fit to protect their lands from its raiders or other bandits. Their courage is admirable and their skulls say they're second to none. There goes the Mormons as well. New Canyon in flames. It would be most beneficial to ex extend an invitation for them to join my navy as officers, and surely they will accept it once they learn my plans concerning the Aztec menace, the fate of Petro Chico. Wow, look at that. As Colombia Sebastian II stares and prepares to march north, Santa Ana has been forced to create a buffer for northern Mexico. Sadly, the people of Petro Chico, if left to their own desires, will be a roadblock. If harnessed to Santa Ana's war machine, however, they can be a valuable resource. Santa Ana can take Petro Chico alone, or he can propose one of his brothers to join him in an alliance. After all, Moctezuma has his own reasons to oppose the Mayans. Without our brother? Not the last of the Mexico, the first of the Mexicans. Now, nah, I'll do it myself. Give him five seconds work camps. Actually, we might need our navy for this. This is actually where we could probably use a navy. How strong is our navy? Not existent. Okay. So y'all go home. Y'all repair. There you go. If you need it, you need it. Okay. Because you guys can actually do something here. Oh, we can go to War with Pickles Colony right now as well. Actually, do we get an expiration of... Yeah, I think it's best if we just go and do this then. Let's go to let's go to Pickles Colony first. Mm. That's not going to be easy now, is it? One, two, three, four. Make this one extra weak. Because we can. Not bad. Yeah, these waterways are not going to be very conductive for business. Well, the business that we have to do right now. Alright. One, two, three, four. And a lot more on this one. Not bad. Oh, yeah, we still have others. One here. So, one, two, three. Throw them right there. And I need you guys as well. Mm -hmm. Right there. Cool. Not bad. You can both go right there for now. Signal flags, not bad. Grab some string telephones, because we can. And then we'll go to war with them in the south basic laser weaponry, because that just seems to make more sense. If we're using robots, we probably want to use that one. After this, we will go with radar. We can probably wait. Engine advancements, because we can. So how are these guys looking? Fighters, where would these guys train in? One, actually divide you guys in half. Two. There you go. One, two. There you go. And then one, two. There you go. One, two. And all of you guys here, boom, boom, bada, boom. 
And actually, how are the air bases around here? We're going to need an air base, aren't we? There you go. Keep making the civilian factory, though. That'd be good. Three. Two. Finally getting into back into some war, hopefully. Here we go. Now they, they attack us. Oh, we got some monoplane attackers as well. Ooh, we can upgrade this as well. Very good. Level nine. Gosh darn. That is very good. Get some more range as well. Drop tanks. Please close this. I'm pretty sure he did that, but whatever. Now, if you guys try to attack, could you win? Yes, they could. Holy crap. They're, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. They have demo... Okay. So, oh, no. This is a glitch. I can't see how much we've lost or gotten. Whatever. Shielding the coast? Why not? If I'm to maintain naval supremacy over the Aztec savages, I need a powerful enough navy to counter their own. The homeland of many of my ex-militia officers have been offered as the staging ground in the campaign against Chichen Itza, and many citizens are more willing to help me build up my forces. In this, it is unity. This unity. The willingness to stand and fight that will bring about the end of the tyrant. Very good. Quite ideal, I'd say. Alright, so that's a bit too much for me and my, uh, stuff here. Yeah, that's just too much. There you go. You guys, same thing. Just one united line. There you go. Alright, you guys, you can right down here. Come back against the Alamo chapter. This is ridiculously, like, pretty easy. I'm sure we lost a few more guys in this war, but hey, that's fine with me. Whatever. Train mongrels? Don't mind if we do. Dynamite? Let's get some better, uh, train mongrels then. We're gonna need a map. I need to start doing more robot stuff. Why am I ignoring that? I don't know. Polyalphabetic snipers, cool. Alright, robots. Some more stuff to attack. It's not much more, but that's okay. Look at these guys. I'd hate to beat them right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Pecos? Go and take Pecos. Jose, why did you fall ill, my friend? Why? And there we go. Now all we need is Van Horn and we have a good. How many have we lost? None! Wow, we still have lost nobody. God, robots can be so, so nice to use. But then again, we're still fighting in Mexico, so... There's good and bad playing as Ejercito Mexicano. So we justified on them earlier. Now, who's next? Shale's army? Well, we get stuff over here later. We do get stuff with the Alamo. I mean, there's gotta be stuff, right? Liberation of taxes, which is fine. And then, Wargle against... Okay, so we do. Yeah, so after this, we're probably going to march up north. Shielding the coast, eh? Petro Chico tribute. The liberation of Texas. Texas is home of some of the most despicable elements of the wastes. Rampant militarism, pitiful mutants clinging to their past, cannibals, raiders, and abominations. This cannot go on, but I need another bridgehead. The pursuant and are despicable cowards delight delighting in the hunt and butcher of innocents, and they will serve this purpose just fine. They will surrender or they will burn. Oh, we could have done that one earlier. We'd have to manually just find them. Oh, my bad. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, well, we're going to make ships. It's just still not good enough. I'm going to make more convoys. I'll be honest. We'll, we'll make some good stuff later on. But right now, it's just not bueno enough. Yeah, Santa Ana might put it. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyways, let's, let's get these guys a little more organization. We're going to build up some more roads, because roads are, you know, very good. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bong. Bong. Nice. Gans just found something. Old world tactics. More attack and defense for six months. Don't mind if we do. Followed up by steel layering. Or steel layering. Why not? You guys. There you go. And I guess it's time to go in. Now, they're actually attacking us, huh? Was not expecting that. 78,000 manpower, up to 34 divisions maybe max. Now if we were to do this, it's just a cream fest over here. Not so great down here, but doing okay-ish right here. You know, you guys can force the attack, why not? Engine advancements, not bad. Grab some of that, now robots are it. Protectron dose, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we're going to need some more ride control gear, aren't we? The infantry armor, I should really say. Yes, we are. 
Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Only one factory on here? Yeah. Liberation of Texas will be at hand. Big Iron? Yes, please. Out of all the splendor war bands resulting from Addis' bloodthirst resulting in his comeuppance, the Iron Mongers remain the most violently, ho hopelessly violent of the three. Composed only of dull soldiers seeking whatever scrap they can fight for, if I am to secure and legitimize my rule, they will need to be taken out of the picture for good. Absolutely. How many... Oh, yeah. We could... Man, yeah. Why not? Well, I don't think we're going to get it, but that's fine. We got ways of making them talk. Currently have 1238 caps, and we're still making over 200. Beautiful. That's all you guys. I have one going into Petrochico. That's fine. Same thing with you guys. Just Uno at a time. Got enough things we could do here with political power. We can do that. I'm going to go and keep doing it. Nah, this one's still super important to do. Recovery rate, yeah. Yeah, now we can focus on more of the army stuff. Normal army stuff. Any upgrades yet? No upgrades, man. This is disappointing. This is still glitch, just two. That kind of sucks. At least is air damage good? It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Hang dogs. Well, good luck, Lanius. Assuming he plays Lanius at the time of this recording, so. Hostile take over It's not hostile? What the fake news? Fake news. It is not hostile. Good. Ironmongers, hello. Hello there. We're building the wasteland. Bueno, bueno. Very good. Training programs are nice. Let's grab some trained dogs. Because how many dogs do we have? 74. That's not going to be enough. Hmm. Drop tanks. Not bad. Engineering. Let's grab some more output. It's still a little bit ahead of time. Hmm. And we're going to do ahead of time. We're going to do that one ahead of time. Basic laser weaponry. Followed up by CQC training. Which gives us more suppression. Which means we need less overall to help put down resistance. And that's very, very important. Big iron, huh? Huge iron. Followed by some of that empresarios. Oh, we can arm Carthage if they exist, or we can just do the empresarios. That's not bad. Uh, quarters with Chichen Itza. That's not bad. Well oiled machine. That is not bad. I like that a lot. But I want to get some cores. Many raided warbands still hide in the deepest part of the wilderness, seeking nothing more than to feebly cling to their savage way of lives. A final ultimatum will be sent. Join me in abandoning your misguided ways, or my army will rid the land of your blight you afflict upon it. Many will yield, but for those that do not, they will be smoked out and shot like the dogs they are. Cooling systems don't mind if we do. Alright, Ironmongers, I don't think they're really capable of putting too much of a resistance against us. I could be very wrong about that, but I have a feeling I'm not. I have a pretty good feeling. Give us, give our guys a, little, a few more days, get some more organization, get some more planning done. So important to do, do, do that, make sure that we do okay here, so. Alright. They're already at war, so. What's another war for them, huh? And don't want to forget about the Navy. You guys did a fantastical job. There you go, train some more. Now, we might actually have to do this. Can you actually get in there and just encircle them? You actually might be able to. Okay, those guys are not going to do that well. Oh, they know what we're doing. Just go ahead. All right, everyone. It's time to rumble. Now they got quite. A, they got a couple planes here. They got a couple planes. The Forge of Giants, huh? Now we are shooting down some of their planes. They're shooting down some of our planes. Now we're doing better. That's better. Keep it up, guys. More robots, thank you. Muti planes. Yeah, we're not going to give these guys too much, are we? No, we're not. Steel learning, not bad. Let's grab some engine oil telegraph because we almost have 500 naval XP. Thank you, Iron Mongers. Now I could give some territory to these people, the good people up north, but that's not really conductive for what we need right now, is it? Finish liberating the pursuit. Remember the Alamo? I think it's time to remember the Alamo. The Alamo chapter formed as a rival of the Texan Brotherhood and seeking to gain its independence has been of interest to me since their recent interception. Or in inception. I studied them at great length, seeking to find if they were worth enough were worth tolerating as to avoid any bloodshed, but it seems that sadly they are just as disgraceful as the ones they seek to distance themselves from. The Alamo shall fall to Mexico once again. I wonder if there's going to be any event in which unites Texas against me eventually. That'd be kind of cool if there was, actually. A big old challenge against us. I'm going to constantly keep at least... we got to get at least two 15-level factories. Two, two. 
Can't wait to go out other stuff too, as well. Acceptance. Gotta be 2280. But we're getting there. That'll happen in the next episode, probably, though. So, the Alamo chapter. I still need to play this Alamo chapter. They don't have a long focus tree, but they gotta be played sometime. Actually, we're gonna keep going back to there. I just wanna look at the military. No, that's not bad. Right? Do you use power armor to put, do ride control? Is that it? Wow. We got a few ships here and there. Not bad. Would our ships be able to take on their ships? CQC training is nice. Let's grab some more breakthrough for our infantry just in case we need it. And then purebred mutts, not bad. We're going to go ahead, though, and do some of this with this stuff. Impact resistant chesses. Very good. Very nice. I suppose we, we already did core that. I'd rather core. This is only 20, right? Oh, it's worth coring. That is absolutely worth coring, right? And coring Gloria. Now it doubles every time you do this. I'm just going to go do that. That's so much more manpower. 44,000? Holy crap. Mr. Handy's because we can. Commercial Protectron 2s. Follow it up with... Crush Rebels. Empresarios. Mess of Yucatan. Tribute. So the Solar Ray. Ooh, Super Mutant Auxiliaries. That seems okay. Crush the Rebels. Might as well. Far too long has a brother pretended to represent the will of the people. But all that they seek is to further their own interests and bring all of Texas under their control. No more. It's time for me to take the reins and guide the Texas people towards a new prosperous future. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like we can just go right on ahead and just... Smack them down. Maybe. Maybe not. Definitely maybe not. We're doing a good amount of damage. Anywhere between 9, 10, to 7, to 14, maybe? You guys could force the attack. No, these guys are only 20 combat with. I gotta remember that. I don't wanna just... Yeah, their soldiers are dying like crazy, too. So, how many have we lost in the past few months? 63? That's... Not bad. Oh, uh, oh. Well, we just won that. We just took back the Alamo. Okay, yeah, why not? Oh, we have power armor here. Oh, can we actually pierce them? They they can, uh, well, they can't. we can't pierce each other to a degree. But, you know, if we hit each other hard enough, now they can pierce us, and we can't pierce them. But now they can't pierce us. And, yeah, interesting. They should have used their power armor better. Man, can you imagine, like, power armor divisions on, like, on top of the Alamo? <laughs> Just trying to defend it against hordes of Mexican robots? This is, this is a very weird scenario, but... I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of really enjoying it. Okay, that was much of But I think that'll end this episode. Now, let's get through one more focus first. One more focus, and then we'll call it an episode. How about that? Engine order telegraph. Grappling hooks, because why not? Crush levels and the empresarios. Todd Howitzer was no friend of Texas or Rio, but nor is he a friend of Mexico. Still, he's not the first upstart foreigner to serve La Patria. 19th century Mexico provided grants known as empresarios to those who ruled land in exchange for the responsibility of settling land. Why should we not recognize Todd's empresario along the Rio Grande so long as he supports us? As Todd says, simple, simplemente funcional. Cool, but hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we take over more of Mexico and Tejas. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.